Come on. Robert Tapper has had a pacemaker to regulate his heartbeat since 2015. When you go into the pacemaker clinic, is they, they take an instantaneous read. How's it behaving at the moment that they're looking at it? It's a built-in radio. Allowing doctors like Chi Ming Chow at Toronto's St. Michael's Hospital to monitor and even control the pacemakers through their computers. But in some pacemakers, manufactured by a medical company called Abbott, formerly known as St. Jude Medical, a potential risk has been identified. The pacemakers could be particularly vulnerable to hackers. I think it's a very good and prudent thing to do, to try to block any loopholes or potential uh, security issues, and uh, nobody should panic. Still, in the U.S., the Food and Drug Administration approved an update to the pacemakers, an electronic fix to close a detected loophole that could have potentially allowed hackers to remotely access or even tamper with patients' devices. And the concern is that if you know, someone maliciously would be able to hack uh, through these radio frequency uh, using other communication uh, radios, then they can potentially or inadvertently uh, program the pacemaker into um, uh, settings that is not appropriate for the patient. Neither Health Canada nor the manufacturer could tell us how many Canadians have this brand of pacemaker, but Health Canada says it's assessing whether to approve the programming fix. Still, cybersecurity experts say it points to a larger issue as medical devices become increasingly high-tech. We're lucky, very fortunate, that so far no patients anywhere have been reported to have had an adverse impact because of this. But we shouldn't rely on fortune. We should be relying on good processes to, to keep our regulators up to speed with these devices. Robert Tapper's pacemaker isn't the brand in question, but he'll check with his pacemaker clinic anyway. Ask the pacemaker clinic if they know anything about it and if they're doing anything about it. It's what some doctors recommend other patients with pacemakers do if they're concerned they could be affected. Alison Northcott, CBC News, Montreal.